what is coming on your way in terms of your general life so let me see and i'm just in between my personal reading sessions so let me pull some cards for you and see what comes up and remember it is a collective reading the link is in my bio for paid private readings like share comment helps your didi so if you want to make your didi famous like share comment and show some love to my youtube channel let's ask tarot and i ask the tarot what is coming on your way it is showing some communication coming on your way all right so let me see apart from the communication what is coming on your way all right talking about communication this dude is definitely coming and manifesting all right who is manifesting you are manifesting this communication oh three of sure something has jumped here let me see what else comes up let me pull this card up and let me take two cards from here all right and now what comes at the bottom of the deck nine of pentacles and what else we have here hermit so this hermit card talks about you are in no communication with someone and that person is very closed they have blocked their heart their heart is closed they are not opening up their heart so this person is very like protecting themselves they are just not ready to open up at all and that is actually causing massive heartbreak so you are sad you are really missing this person you are missing their energy this person might have put you in a third party situation um don't have to be and the third party don't have to be a romantic partner can be cow donkey monkey cycle michael whoever now this is the situation here now this is the blockage so whatever it is a third party or fourth party i don't care but the situation is blocked no movement in this connection and the person actually is like not talking to you not opening up they might have blocked you they might they might have blocked you you might have blocked them this might be the situation now what i'm sensing this this is a journey for this i'm sensing with this one that with this no contact you know sometimes people say no contact no contact is very important when you go through uh, this kind of a situation when it's like a heartbreak or something like that no contact gives you a new perspective about the connection it makes you feel like whether you really want to be in this connection whether what is this purpose of this connection whether you are you need each other in your life or not so whatever it's like it gives you a new perspective of a new learning about the relationship that you are in so this is definitely this person is going through a kind of a um hermit mode which is letting them know that they are isolated they are not talking to you and they are not even talking to other people okay this person is going for a soul search and um, yeah there were a lot of big fight happened between you and that was like a lot of harsh word been said that did see look at this clouds here so this is kind of a representation how bad that fight was how badly it damaged you both of you so something they said something you said which is really it's like feel like it's very damaging so thing is obviously we when we are in an angry state of mind our brain doesn't work we just like talk rubbish which just to hurt the other person like you know if we don't even mean sometime okay um so that's that's kind of a situation like um so once you are in a hermit mode once in a in a in a no contact you know that those talks are totally bullshit they don't really you really don't didn't mean that or they really didn't mean what you understood so when we are angry we our brain is like completely overpowered this clouds are all the confusion and all the conflict of mind <coughs> excuse me so when we are angry we don't see straight we just see bullshit okay um, but anyways so um yeah now at this moment nobody is talking both are closed off and this person and both of you are not showing each other how you are feeling you are both hiding your true self to the other person you probably both are proud, like you know looking to very very happy like you know very joyful just like me yeah and then maybe you are just um uh, like you know posting in social media showing that oh life is so beautiful and they are they are also showing how beautiful their life going okay they are go, like you know going out with the friends or partying or drinking or having picnic whatever posting on the social media they might be posting or some photos with somebody else okay this is us reading where i'm sensing that even though somebody they might be pretending to be with but there is no like you know connection with this person so if you know that your person already moved on with somebody and they are in another relationship this reading is not for you this is somebody who is pretending to be with a third party situation but they are not in a third party situation but if you know confirmed your person moved on switch out this reading is not for you score all right now what i'm seeing that in this situation both of you actually manifesting each other back in your life all right 
and that is probably the situation this um, eight of wands is showing up here this eight of wands is a very fast communication card and this card page of uh, pages are always talking about messages so this you might be receiving some messages from this person but this person might be a bit, bit immature or maybe you are immature than your age so there is a lot of immaturity child childish energy coming up in this connection um i would say and also in a particular day that is showing me up they are showing me here in a particular deck, I have seen that this card has been merged with a major arcana card, which is star. So star talk about wish fulfillment, healing, all right, something coming on your way that you have always wished for. So this is this card also giving me a reminder that you are wishing that manifesting um, that communication and that communication is coming on your way and also healing being sent on your way by your divine, by your uh, spirit guides, your ancestors your god whoever you believe in healing been sent to you your way for both you and your person um however you are advised being advised to focus on yourself rather than waiting for this person because um you also need to work on yourself you need to like give, give the love the validation you are looking from this person to yourself because self-love is most important we know i talk about that all the time it doesn't matter whether you are in a relationship or you are a no contact or you are in a contact uh, loving yourself is very important because if you don't love yourself you cannot love other people unconditionally because we couldn't when we don't love ourselves unconditionally we always expect other it's like we don't love ourselves so we have some we feel that there is some void within ourselves and that other person will be fulfilling that void to us and that's why we feel connected to the people expecting something from them that they will give us those things and that will complete the gap that or the void that we have within ourselves when you love yourself unconditionally you love the way you are with all the void with everything you have um your um, achievements your failure your drawbacks your flaws when you accept yourself with everything you have you love yourself unconditionally then you don't need anybody to validate your yourself you know i am complete in that case when you attach with somebody you are not looking for anything from them it's unconditional love then the relationship you have with your person will be stronger and you know much more better so that's the reason doesn't matter whether this person is in your life they are gone they are coming back they are going with third party fourth party fifth party i really don't care but it's important even if you are in a stable relationship marriage and happy everything is going fine still we would say that self love is the most important because when you love yourself you see the person for who they are not for the way you want them to see you love your person accept them the way they are with everything they have with their flaws their drawbacks and everything but when you don't love yourself you only just ask at the person to validate you you want them to be a version of them which you created in their mind and you want them to validate that all the time hmm. that's a big thing think about it um so i hope you understand what i uh, what i said and um yeah i'm sensing that there will be some communication from your person towards you and this person um, definitely loves you because there is a very strong sense of um, love i'm feeling even though it is not in the card it's not showing that way but i'm sensing that whoever i'm channeling this message for there is a strong connection between you two the way the magician card popped up here and i'm being shown the star card so i would say that this connection is something that there is a very strong and loving connection and if you were with somebody who you know clinically liar or physically abusive or they you know um, they did a lot of bad things to you in terms of physically mentally harassing you saying bad stuff to you destroy you to the core um so those are the people are narcissists all right so if that is the situation they left you um they married somebody else and they just living life with somebody else or you know they're talking behind your you know they do smear campaign and all those things um so that can be a sign that this person is a narcissist so any abuser should not be taken back in your life under any circumstances okay um specifically if they've abused you physically or mentally and left you and married somebody else you know cheated on you completely left you in dark destroyed your life promised future fact say that they will marry you and then marry somebody else those people are never be expected to come back all right so if that is your situation please don't see tarot readings don't wait for them heal yourself move on with life and live your life and under any circumstances self-love sweetheart self-love is the key all right and again if you want to book a private reading the link will be in my bio or email me at divine mother's guidance and be scammers of the other i have only one paypal id pali dmg and scammers have created email id uh, like you know paypal id under my um, 
email id so that's not so only id that you will be paying to as a paypal is pali dmg no other account be aware of the scammers okay thank you so much love you